Hello, happy May 7th. Today is Thursday. Welcome to another exciting edition of Rate Desk. I am your host, Michael Thomas, reporting live from my secondary home office, AKA the garage. That's right, I'm doing some spring cleaning here at home. So today's episode is from the garage. So today, the markets are generally up, trending up for the week, which is nice to see the Dow Jones Industrial Average slightly down today. The other indices are up. The oil uh, futures, they remain range bound in that $23 range. Not much of a change there from yesterday. US 10 year treasury yields. It was amusing, are they gonna stay in the 70s? Nope, they didn't. They started at 69 basis points this morning and throughout the day they moved down, closing the day around 63 basis points on the US 10 year treasury yields. Jumping over to the HUD FHA rates. 223F rates have come down just a little bit. So they're quoting at 257 today. That is 2.57 fixed for 35 years. And on the 221D4 rates, we are looking at 3.22. Wow, that's low. That is very low on 40 year fixed rate construction permanent financing. Jumping over to the agency desks, GSCs are flat. 315 on the Fannie Mae Dust loan, looking at Freddie Mac still 320 to 335 today. Now, because spring cleaning, because we're in the spring and I'm thinking of green, it makes me want to talk about energy efficiency and your properties. I don't have to tell you that energy efficiency is great because it helps you save more of your green in the form of dollars, right? If you have lower utility costs, if you are paying in fact for your utility costs, you are saving money. And both major sources of permanent financing, the GSEs and HUD programs do provide incentives, financial incentives for properties that achieve their respective energy efficiency ratings. Now, a couple things you can do as a borrower, as a developer, as someone looking to acquire multifamily properties that will help your case. Number one, If you are a builder, you definitely are gonna have to build to the local building codes. But I would take it a step further and talk to a lender and find out what, if any other permanent financing metrics are looked at when it comes to green and energy efficiency. Sometimes there can be a disconnect, and yes, I know they're all supposed to be the same standards, but we know that in actuality, when something is getting built in any respective market, it might not meet those same standards it's supposed to. So double check those and see when you get to the perm financing, what are those metrics and make sure they're baked in at the time of construction and that you're able to get those certifications that you're gonna need later, okay? You don't wanna waste time and have additional costs later. Number two, if you are one of those buyers that goes out and and you buy properties, whether it's they're already stabilized and kind of good as is, or if you're trying to do more of a value add play, get as much information as you can from the previous owner. I'm talking about plans if you can get them. Um, Push for as much information as you can. Of course, ask them if they have any green certifications from any major organization such as LEED or uh, Green Enterprise Communities or something that certifies and shows that these properties do have some type of an energy efficiency rating or a built to those standards. If not, make sure you get the plans or just as much information as possible. These are the kinds of things that are important going forward. Now, last thing I wanna end on, and again, this is more like food for thought, but going forward, it's gonna be very important to be able to quickly manage and monitor your energy usage at the property level. Sometimes this can get a little tricky, okay? Utility companies, uh, a lot of times, do not wanna give out information because of personal information, Privacy Act stuff. Uh, Owners really are just trying to get aggregate information, so there can be a little bit of a challenge there. Some are easier to work with than others. However, if you have at your property installed uh, into one of these newer software programs, you can monitor and manage that in real time that I, I really see that as that's the way these programs were going, right? These folks on the lending side, like HUD or, or agencies, are really at the end of the day gonna wanna know that you can continue to manage your property energy efficiently moving forward. So again, food for thought, there are some companies, it's a burgeoning space, but I do think it's interesting 
and it's certainly worth looking into as you're acquiring and as you're building multifamily properties. That's all I've got for today from my garage. This has been another episode of Rate Desk with your host, Michael Thomas, signing off.